was a dark and windy night. Not a sound could be heard but dinosaurs roaming and trees swaying. There was a light, deep beyond the wood front. What was it? Could it be the sunrise? Nope, it's just Bob. Let's just say Bob isn't the smartest, well, Beach Bob, I guess we could call him. You see, Bob had just started his adventure on this map and he didn't really know what he was doing. He loved to explore. He loved to build. And most importantly, Bob loved to adventure areas he had never been before. Until one day, Bob found something he had never seen before. In fact, something that no one has ever seen before. Bob found something so magnificent that he just stood there for hours. Two hours later, he snapped back into reality and picked it up. It was an artifact. But not just any artifact. This artifact had a backstory to it that had never been told before. This is the Untold Mysteries of Lost Island. Seven a.m. A new day has begun. Bob has just woken up. You see, Bob didn't really have a great night last night, and let's just say he had a little too much fun. And well, the video can just talk for me. So, uh, yeah, Bob had a pretty good night. Bob had learned a lot over the last few days and knows his way around the map a little bit better. He upgraded to hide armor and somehow killed a bear. He got himself a nice little house built up and this time it didn't look like a total mess. Bob even got himself some friends. Dodos. Just dodos. Fifteen of them. Anyways. Bob was on a quest today. He had found a cave near his house, and he kept pushing back on going into it since it was pitch black. But today, Bob wasn't going to fight back. He was going to do it. He approached the cave and was ready to fight whatever may lie inside. Until... He heard a noise. But not just any noise. Bob had found a unicorn. Bob tried to tame this fascinating creature, but it didn't go according to plan. Let's just say he got some sense knocked into him. Bob returned with some more food and began to feed him again, but this time it worked. Bob had tamed the creature and it was his. Bob took him back home and returned to the cave entrance. Bob made sure to load up his shotgun and keep his torch handy and he began to walk in. He walked in for about a minute without anything happening, until he found a spider. He killed the spider and was expecting it to be super easy from now on, but after all, this is Ark, so Bob got a nice little treat. A Bob came back and this time he brought a little weapon with him. I don't know where he got it, but Bob found a machine gun. So this time, he was definitely not gonna die. He cleared the first area and had found something so extraordinary. Bob found a ship. The ship had a glow on it, almost as if it was an artifact, but different. He made his way up to the ship and started to look around for any lost treasure. He found some barrels inside and realized they were left in the shape of a staircase to get into the second story of the ship. He made his way up the barrels, narrowly falling off, and was in. The second layer had a staircase leading up higher and higher until he was at the top. Bob looked around but there was no treasure. He walked up to the captain's post and could see the glow of a fire. 
He walked up to the glow and found a box that was slightly cracked. The box had a note in it saying 58.9 latitude, 47.3 longitude. You shall find a cave deep below the water's top. This seemed to be freshly written and the fire was still on. Bob set off back home to get his unicorn ready. He upgraded to flak armor, made a pike, and brewed up some med brews and was ready for anything. Bob set off his journey to the coordinates. Once he got to the coordinates, he found a lake. This lake had some spiky rocks pointing out from the middle. This was in the middle of a swamp, so Bob really had doubts of going in this murky water, but he had already come so far and there was no turning back now. He jumped in the frigid water and began swimming. He had found nothing until he went over to the rocks. He looked down from the top of one of the rocks and he had seen a deep hole leading into some kind of cave. It was not going to be easy, but Bob took a deep breath and jumped in. Right as he hit the water, he passed out. Bob had woken up in a very dark cave with nothing but a glow of shiny rocks. Bob had never seen these before and went to go investigate them. There were silica pearls. Bob looked back and saw nothing but water where he was washed on shore, so he had nowhere else to go except straight into the dark cave. When he started walking, he found a room with three different ways to go. One way was just a dead end, the second way was more water, and the third way was just another long hallway, so Bob chose to go that way instead of swimming through the water. He walked through until he saw a light. There was an opening into what seemed to be a man-made structure. There was a torch on the wall and cobwebs were everywhere. It appeared to be a maze of some sort. He started walking right and worked his way through before running into some insects the size of him. He killed them and kept going. There was blood splattered all over the cave and he was having second thoughts on walking in here. He tried to go back and leave but realized he had gotten lost. Bob had nowhere to go but forward. After what felt like an eternity of lefts and right, Bob found a room. The room had nothing but buttons and a massive door with an artifact in it. He looked around trying to figure out which button to press looking for hidden ones and found one on the back of one of the pillars. Bob pressed this and the door slowly opened. He slowly walked in making sure he didn't trigger a trap until he saw what looked to be a campsite. Someone was in here with Bob. There was just some pallets cardboard boxes, and a crate. He opened the crate and found another note. This note read, If you are reading this, I have escaped this hell. He's watching your every move. Leave before he finds you. I set off heading west to the castle. 46.2 latitude, 53.1 longitude. There appears to be a cl The note just cuts off. He had coordinates and this was all that he needed. Out of nowhere, Bob heard a loud slam. He needed to get out. Bob ran with his machine gun out, making sure nothing could hurt him. Next thing you know, traps were going off left and right. The grenades and tear gas were being thrown at him from every angle. He ran as fast as he could, but his vision was slowly going out from the tear gas. He was bumping into walls until he found an opening. He found the exit. He ran faster and faster until he found the water that he had woken up on and jumped in. Next thing he knew, he had seen light. He swam up with little to no breath left until he had reached the top. Bob made it out. Bob was so out of breath that he didn't know if he could make it home. The sun was setting and it was a long, treacherous trip back home. So instead of risking it, Bob set up a little campsite with a campfire to keep him warm. He made a sleeping bag and slept out the night. The next morning, Bob put out his fire and begun his journey back home. After many hours of heading back, Bob returned and saw smoke in the air. He went over to the hill and saw that it was his house that was on fire. Bob pushed his unicorn as fast as she could go and ran to the house only to find it in pieces. Everything had been looted. Who would do such a thing, he said. His dodos were all dead and the only thing left was his toilet. With nothing but the note that he had taken from the maze, he decided to set off to the castle. Bob had a nice calm trip to the castle with surprisingly nothing happening at all to him. He thinks that the unicorn was giving him good luck. Walking through the redwoods, Bob could see the castle in the distance. 
He began to get excited and was happy to see people again. He got over to the bridge when he realized that something was wrong. The castle had looked overgrown and there was no one on the towers. He walked up finding the entrance wide open and knew something was not right. After walking, he found buildings, but they were just in ruins. Somebody had already attacked. The castle was a ghost town. He explored everything within the walls and found nothing, not a person in sight. This time, there were no notes, just abandoned structures. Was this the end, he asked? As night fell, Bob set camp in a watchtower and just slept. He thought this was all just a bad dream, but woke up to find it in the same state. He knew that he would call this place his home for now. Bob began to get to work. He fortified the main entrance and filled in the massive hole in the wall. He then began to build a new home, one he could make sure no one could destroy. One month later, Bob had the place looking pretty good now. He figured he would leave the ruins as a monument of what happened here. Bob felt safe again, and was home.